Now, inside the benefits administrator role, there's a content manager. And to communicate to your employees as they go through an enrollment transaction, we know that you want to talk to them in a certain way with a certain uh, set of language, maybe change a word on a screen. Sometimes you want to put a note on there about a new program you're rolling out, and maybe even begin to insert your own pages so you can have a specific page uh, to your enrollment flow. So we have a content manager. In addition to that, we provide you with a, a, a really wonderful communication portal uh, throughout the year, uh, 365 days a year, a communication uh, portal that communicates to your employees all your benefits in one place, sorts of, all sorts of programs and, and ways for them um, to come and learn about your benefits programs. And I always like looking at these from our customer community. Here's a really fun one from Designer Shoe Warehouse. I know Aaron, I think, is in the audience who put this together. Really fun. Um, <laughs> passion uh, that they have, their culture. They've got this, this notion of my favorite place to work, and they're constantly promoting all sorts of things uh, in their communication portal. Now, take a, take a, a just sort of watch that uh, gray bar across the top with the various links on it. Here's uh, Fender Guitars and their Fender uh, Benefits billboard. You notice it's red now. Uh, it's got the Fender uh, billboard branding and their communication style, the way they communicate to their employees. And then you'll see Concur, a company very similar to, to Benefit Focus, and their communication portal. Each of these, without custom programming, without you know, custom fees and so forth, just your ability to get in and work with the communication portal, customize it the way you want, communicate your brand, keep it fresh, and keep it updated. It's fun to watch the work that you all do inside the communication portal. Matter of fact, yesterday at the Benefit Focus, uh, Benefit Focus University classes, a bunch of folks got certified on the communication portal capability. So what we've really given you is sort of two capabilities to communicate to your employees. One, in content manager, mainly for the enrollment flow as people go through, and then the communication portal. And we originally designed them uh, separately, the, the communication portal, so that we could build other portals with it, broker portals, quoting, communication for carriers and, and whatnot. But what we've noticed over the last couple of years is really that content is, is converging as volunteer benefits now make their way right into the health and, uh, health and, and, and retirement plan flow. We, the distinction between the two, uh, we wanted to sort of a race. So we've been working hard uh, behind the scenes on a brand new capability that would really merge these two capabilities together. We put a team together uh, who's been studying it, uh, getting feedback from the customer community, and we've got a little video to show you behind the scenes the work they've been doing. So let's take a look. We're in an unprecedented time of change in the benefits business. There are many factors that are converging to cause this change. The Affordable Care Act, consumerism, consumer expectations, new generations in the workforce. And in this transformational time, what's really needed is a piece of software that is keeping up with these times and giving administrators what they need. The beautiful thing about software is it's like constantly creating a, a new statue that's never finished. I mean, you get to keep putting your hands in it and plying it and working with it. You know, every several years, three, four, five years, we take one of our, our incredible products uh, that millions of people are using and we say, if we were to do it over again, what would we do differently? The goal of this redesign was actually pretty simple. We want to provide our benefits administrators the tools they need to communicate more effectively and ultimately create beautifully designed content. It's almost a collection of templates that come along with that, and they don't have to design that. It just comes by default by choosing this particular content type. Benefit administrators are asking for a simple way to manage their communications across our platform. Here at Benefit Focus, we have a saying that everyone is a designer, but you shouldn't have to have a background in web design to create engaging experiences. So this screen here that we're looking at now is what you would see if you had clicked on that files icon. Seems like there are a lot fewer steps involved than what we currently have. Uh, I think it's fantastic. The goal of a researcher is to be the voice of the user. So I try to communicate from the user to our design team what is most going to be helpful to them. We've collected an enormous amount of feedback from our customer community and their insights and, and how they're using the content and communication capabilities of Benefit Focus. So this results in employees making more confident decisions about the benefits they need to protect the people they love. The new content manager is integrated with your current admin tools. It takes the best of the current functionality and consolidates it into one simple way to manage your content. Instead of going to a page and changing content, you'll be right on the page, editing it right there on the fly, changing labels, changing the content as you need to. 
This will give them more automation, more personalization, and more flexibility when they use our platform. Well, from a performance perspective, architecturally, we want to make that as fast as possible. Obviously, the page rendering as quick as possible. So admins now have access to all of their pages, content, and media in one place including over 300 curated videos from our video library. Our customers expect us to have the tools that they're looking for in this transformational period. And we're creating a very special system that would allow really anyone at any level to get the right content to the right individual at the right time. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful idea. What an incredible team I get to work with. I'm Kayla White, the product manager for this initiative, and I'm so excited to show you the tools that we're building to make content management simple. So let's take a closer look at the brand new content manager. Today, I'll be logging in as a benefits administrator for Fresh Foods. And from the home page, I'll select the content manager icon to begin personalizing the platform for the upcoming open enrollment. Now today, with the Content Manager, you have the ability to create HR notes or widgets to display on certain enrollment pages. And you work within the communication portal, so you're managing content in two places. With the new Content Manager, we've consolidated all of your content management tools right here. You have the ability to edit existing enrollment pages, add new pages, upload your files, and manage your content with menus right here from the administrator role. Now, to truly personalize the enrollment experience, you need the ability to talk to specific groups of your employees during key moments throughout the year, like open enrollment or during a life event. So let me show you how this will work. I'll start by selecting Edit from my homepage. And in this situation, I have a specific message I want to convey to my fresh foodies located in Atlanta. So I'm going to select Edit from my welcome message. And here at the top, you'll notice I already have several versions created for my welcome message for my off-cycle enrollment and initial enrollment groups. And in order to create a new version, I can simply copy an existing version, and I'll make a few edits to fit my open enrollment audience. I'll go ahead and assign the group of employees to this message by selecting Atlanta from the Audience tab, and open enrollment as the time of year that this will be visible. And the options I'm seeing here are actually the employee classifications that are already configured in the Benefit Focus platform, so I'm not spending extra time setting those up myself. And over on the Content tab, I see each ele element of my welcome message is editable. And as I scroll down to make edits to the content, I see my fonts and styles are already applied, so I know exactly what this is going to look like on the page. I'll go ahead and edit my heading to let my employees know that open enrollment is here. And I'll add a personal touch to my message as well. Now, Fresh Foods developed a custom video with the Benefit Focus Media team this year. So I can find that video in my media and add that to my, my welcome message. I could even edit the text here on my button if I wanted to. And now that I'm finished with my edits, I can use the page settings panel here on the left side to preview what I've just made. So I'll toggle between the audiences, and I'll select Atlanta and open enrollment to see exactly what they're going to see when they log in. This is just one example of how you can personalize the enrollment experience by leveraging the information that's already on the Benefit Focus platform. With more personalization and more automation, you're empowered to communicate more effectively with each and every one of your employees. That's pretty incredible, but that's just the beginning. We've expanded the capabilities to allow you to add custom pages. This means you can create an educational experience for your employees to learn all about their benefits and stay informed throughout the year. So in just a few simple steps, I'll add a custom page to display my medical benefits. You'll notice I'm able to go ahead and add this page directly to my menu that my employees will see from the home page. And once I'm on my brand new page, adding content is really simple. Each icon here represents a different type of content that can be added to the page, anything from a simple text box to a fully interactive calendar. 
And I want to add a link to my summary of benefits coverage document to this page, so I'm going to start with resource. And this is for my 2017 medical plans. And once I've added my heading and my body, I can add a link directly to the document. Well, that was easy. Let's go ahead and add some more content. I want to add a video to help explain the new HDHB plan options this year, so I'm going to use media for this. By selecting Add Media here, just like before, I have access to all of my media and documents in one place. I can tab over to Video to filter just videos, and I'll select the HDHP video from the Benefit Focus Video Library. And as you can see, adding content is simple and intuitive. I can even drag my content to a different column, and it will automatically adjust to fit the page layout. Now that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Now to finish my page, I'll go ahead and add the details for my medical plans. I'm going to choose a dynamic plan overview. Now wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to type in all of your plan attributes for this page? We thought so. <laughs> What's so cool about the dynamic content types is that it utilizes the same plan data that's configured in the Benefit Focus Marketplace. I can simply choose which benefit type I want to display, and it's going to do all of the work for me. So I'll choose medical. And in just a few clicks, all of my plan information is automatically placed on the page for me. <laughs> I love this because we're leveraging what's already on our platform to make your lives easier and provide more context for your employees. We know that benefits can be challenging and complex, but communicating with your employees shouldn't be. With the new Content Manager, communication is simple and tailored to your unique population, allowing the value of your benefits to shine through. Thank you. Incredible. I tell you what, uh, we had some big aspirations for this new redesign of the Content Manager and Communication Portal. These are the top five. We wanted to really bring both capabilities together to make it uh, simple and streamlined for you. We wanted to be able to get the content powered off the eligibility that's already built into the uh, application. And this fifth one you see here, we wanted to lower everyone's costs. So setting up these portals, setting up the communication, we wanted to drive the cost down for all of us, ourselves, yourselves, our system integrators that are doing more and more implementations, uh, great agencies like I saw my buddy Owen uh, Wingate here this morning, and he and his brother Wes and their great agency in Jacksonville, they serve a lot of great uh, employers in the community. We want to make your ability to promote uh, content and things that you're doing uh, that much better. And at the same time, we wanted to increase the performance, as you can see, the, the growth of the customer community. We want to get a 10x or more improvement in the performance uh, and the scalability of uh, the concurrent users. So really fantastic breakthrough that we have. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. So we have an early adopter program that starts uh, over the summer. You can visit our booth and meet uh, Kayla and the team there and learn more about the Early Adopter Program. We'll be taking your communication portals that you're building on now and continue to build on and the content you're developing, and seamlessly over a series of releases, we'll be merging those together with your feedback and in input. It's going to be a really blast uh, to work on with you this year.